the ease of use of the glass band uh, tape in comparison to the alternative product out there is far superior. We're able to manipulate this material in such a way that we can keep it very thin within the wings of this bridge and still gain strength. The indirect glass band bridge, fabricated from simple alginate impressions, allows for faster and easier replacement of missing teeth with no unsightly metal. Be sure to take a counter impression, bite registration, and shade. The following procedures can be accomplished in the laboratory. After mounting and articulating the models, mark the location of the glass band attachments with a pencil. The abutment teeth are prepared on the model to accept a continuous piece of glass band rope. This is usually a horseshoe shaped channel. Place the glass band rope into the preparations. Tack the ends together in the pontic area with a clear bonding resin followed by a porcelain veneer looting cement or flowable hybrid composite resin and light cure. Cut away the excess ends of the glass band. The portion of the glass band to receive the pontic is also treated with the previously mentioned resins and light cured. The pontics may be constructed using any of the available posterior hybrid composite resins. Incrementally build and sculpt the composite resin, curing each layer until proper anatomical contours have been achieved. The flexible glass span attachments which extend beyond the pontics remain untreated up to this point. The highly aesthetic bridge with flexible attachments is now ready for clinical placement. When the patient returns for the second visit, anesthesia is required. Create class two preparations on the abutment teeth to receive the glass band rope. Try in the glass band bridge for proper fit and confirm the tooth preparation is adequate. Make adjustments as required. Be sure that the channels permit the glass band to fit below the occlusal surfaces of the abutment teeth. Coat the flexible glass band attachments of the bridge with clear bond and porcelain veneer looting paste or a flowable hybrid composite resin. The internal surfaces of the preparation are etched with phosphoric acid for 15 to 20 seconds and thoroughly flushed with water. After placement of a universal dental adhesive, the internal surfaces of the channel are coated with a thin layer of clear unfilled resin and polymerized with a curing light. Place a layer of posterior composite onto the floor of the preparations and seat the bridge into place. Again, be sure to position the glass band attachments below the occlusal surfaces of the abutment teeth so as not to expose the glass band during final finishing and polishing.
After properly positioning the bridge, light cure. Completely cover the glass span attachments and incrementally fill the preparations with posterior composite resin, curing each layer with the polymerization light. Check the occlusion and adjust if necessary. Conventional fluted carbides, interproximal carvers and polishing agents are used to open embrasures, provide acceptable contours and impart a final surface luster to the restoration. The glass band bridge offers your patients a highly aesthetic, less expensive alternative to traditional tooth replacement.